Hey everyone, so I just want to talk about a little thing that I feel is quite useful for me. Arizona! Sometimes when I feel like I'm in a bit of a rut, um, I ask myself this question and it kind of cuts away the bullshit and puts me in perspective. And that question is, if I were to die tomorrow, what would I do today? Because I think oftentimes, at least for me, I get so caught up and a lot of things that maybe I don't need to get caught up in, whether it's things in the past or things in the future that makes me anxious or feel this and that, that it gets to a point where it's like, it's just not helpful thinking that much, overthinking and over um, worrying, I suppose. So then when you ask yourself, okay, look, if you're gonna die tomorrow, all right, like, what would you actually do? Like, what is actually meaningful for you? Like, is that thing you're so worried about actually that big of a deal? Or is that thing you did in the past that big of a deal? Not to be morbid or anything, like, I, I don't I don't necessarily think of this as something um, depressing. It's actually very en enlivening. It's like, the only way to really fully embrace life is to, in a way, accept death. And then it's like, well, you've got nothing to lose. You can fully go into life without the fear of death, which I guess ultimately is our greatest fear, you know, like whether you have, you know, you're scared of people thinking you're weird, da, 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 you know, it all comes back down to this primal fear that, you know, if we get exiled or ostracized from the tribe, then our chances of survival are diminished, therefore, you know, da, 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 da. if you can just, <laughs> I guess it's not something so easy, but it's like, if you can somewhat better accept the prospect of death, um, I believe it gives you a much more better perspective of your life. And the Stoics have this saying, which is memento mori, that I'm sure some of you will know, which basically just translates to remember you will die. And the meaning behind it is basically what I just described is, um, yeah, like remember that you will die. So make sure you do what is meaningful to you and like don't worry so much about the um, inevitable BS that you will accumulate throughout your life. To expand upon this question, it's like, yeah, maybe you're feeling kind of shit, you don't know what to do today. So it's like, well, if I'm gonna die tomorrow, what will I do? Then it's like, maybe you'll think of some crazy things to do that, um, you know, obviously don't do anything too crazy, but do something that's um, that excites you. But let's say one day is, isn't much to get many things done, I suppose. You can do something to kind of boost your spirits, right? In that one day, um, once you had your perspective shift, but then it's like, well, you probably still have a couple of decades left to go in your life. Uh, at least I would hope so. And then it's like, you can start asking, okay, well, if I'm going to die in a day, this is what I would do. What would I do if I'm going to die in a week, right? Then maybe you can start thinking a little bit more long term. Like, okay, well, if it's in a week, I'm going to die. I guess there's, there's a couple of things that I could do. You know, some things that I that are really important. Maybe I can't get it all done in a day, da, 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 right? So you can start thinking thinking about that. Then if you can do that, you can start thinking about, well, if I'm going to die in a month, then what would I do, right? And if I'm going to die in a year, what would I do? If I'm going to die in three years, if I know I'm going to die in three years, what would I do? If I'm going to die in a decade, what would I do? If I'm going to die in a lifetime, what would I do? Because remember, you will die, right? And there's this, this really great quote that I want to read out to you that I feel like um, illustrates this point to hopefully motivate you to, to live life more meaningfully and more fuller. Um, the quote is by Paolo Co Colo. Polo Col Co Fuck. The guy who wrote The Alchemist. I don't know how to say his name. Paolo Coelho. Maybe it's that. All right. And the quote is, Our contradictions. We are in such a hurry to grow up. And then we long for our lost childhood. We make ourselves ill earning money and then spend all our money on getting well again. We think so much about the future that we neglect the present and thus experience neither the present nor the future. We live as if we were never going to die and die as if we had never lived. Make sure if you are getting too wrapped up in the illusion of life, the Maya, the matrix, all the bullshit that... Um, may have tainted you from your purity that you once had as a child, as a divine being from the divine, uh, then ask yourself, if I'm going to die, what would I do? Maybe you don't necessarily need a um, go to extreme such as like, I don't know, extreme stuff. 
Um, but maybe, just asking this question, if I'm going to die in a day, a week, a month, right? It can give you some clues on what is actually important to you and what isn't important to you. And then from that, that's kind of like a, a redirect in the right direction that is more aligned with who you are and proceed as the divine pure being that you are, my friend. And until next time, I wish you a meaningful journey.